Well, good morning. good morning. I am so happy to see you all here today. Um, New Year's Eve. It's the day. <laughs> it's the last day of the year. And uh, for those of us in the U.S. who do our dates with the month and the day and the year, if you write today's date, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and some, for some of you, maybe that's what 2023 has felt like, right? Just going through the motions, one, two, three, one, two, three. Some of you may be happy to let go of 2023. Some of you may be sad to let go of 2023. But this is the, the cycle, right, that we work with. And today, we're going to be doing another ritual. Last week for uh, Christmas Eve, we did uh, can beautiful candle lighting. It was really wonderful. And uh, today we're going to be doing a, a burning bowl ceremony followed by a white stone ritual. And one is letting go and the other is receiving. And so what I will tell you about the burning bowl ritual is that it is probably the very first and more, most profound ritual that I've done in this philosophy. I was brand new in the teaching. I was uh, with a new community. I didn't know them very well, and they did this thing with uh, burning what we wanted to release. And, um, yeah, I went for it. I released something really big. And uh, the following year was a wild ride. <laughs> um, but it was good. I wouldn't change a thing. It, uh, it, was, it changed me significantly. And so I really enjoy doing this particular ritual because I think it, it has, it's an opportunity for us to clear away those things that aren't working for us anymore, to really s step into a space of, of releasing and trusting. The purpose of this ceremony really is to symbolically release from our lives and our hearts and our consciousness those things that seem to be in the way of experiencing our best and most authentic life. We let go of beliefs that perhaps uh, no longer serve us. It's also an opportunity to let go of mistakes that we have made perhaps that are difficult for us to reconcile. It's an opportunity for us to forgive ourselves for anything that has happened in the last 12 months that we're ready to release. And you've been given a lot of supplies <laughs> when you walked in. <laughs> you were given this, this paper, and um, it has a little piece of p flash paper on it. Um, you were given a pen, and... Uh, I'm going to give you some instructions as we go along. But what I want you to recognize is that as we move through this process, there's a, such a deep symbolic meaning with fire. Fire is that um, transformative power that changes whatever it touches into something more rarefied and purified as a version of itself. F the fire, I think, is a powerful symbol of wisdom, and knowledge, and passion, and purification. And so the paper that you have, and I'm going to take you through a meditation before we write anything on this, but the paper that you have, unless you, you know, some of you probably came here knowing what you were ready to release this year, this paper symbolically is a place for you to transfer that, which you are re getting ready to let go of. It's a placeholder for you so that when you come forward, you can um, really let it go. And so I'm going to take you through um, a brief meditation. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. And holding your paper in your hands, feeling the breath as you Begin to center yourself in this space right here and right now. And if you're watching at home, you can have some paper 
and pencil ready. You might want to have a candle so that you can participate as well. In our lives, we all have things that seem to hold us back. Hidden fears, mistakes we've made, judgments about ourselves, the roles that we play, all of these bind us to suffering and to the old ways of being. So breathing into this moment, let us choose to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Now is the time to choose to let go of whatever it is that may be holding you back from a truer, more fuller, and authentic life. Trust that your higher wisdom self brings forth whatever it is that needs to be released and that it's as easily released as your next breath. Don't judge what arises. Simply notice it. Allow any images or ideas to bubble up from within. For there is a part of you, the transcendent consciousness within you, that knows what to do, what to release, what to transform, and how to do that. You don't need to figure anything out right now. You just need to simply identify whatever it is that we are releasing. There's nothing to fear, only a new freedom to experience. So take some time, know that you are in the process of rebirthing and let that birth happen now. Let yourself become truly new so that you may reveal the divine presence within you and what it is you're ready to release. And so when you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes and take a minute to write down what it is you're getting ready to release. Write it down on your little piece of paper, just enough so you know what it is. Again, it can be something that um, you no longer wish to experience. It can be something you're ready to forgive yourself around. Or maybe it's something simple, like being a perfectionist that isn't serving you anymore. And when you're ready, Again, we need to be mindful, and I'm going to invite people to either come down this aisle or this aisle. We have two bowls. I'm going to invite you to touch your paper to the flame. This is flash paper, so it will, it will go up really quick. And for each bowl, there's also a plate where I want you to pick up a white stone on your way back to your seat. So you'll take your paper and just let it go, and it will be transformed as you will. So I'll ask Mary to start a piece of music, and when you're ready, you can come forward. one reader.
that at Lisa. Lisa. Everybody in the sound booth, come get a chance. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, so the, um, thank you, thank you for being willing to let go of the things that aren't serving you, knowing that you have been blessed by them and you no longer need them. And so say this with me now as a final affirmation. I release this and let it go. May it forever be gone from my experience. I have received its gifts. And I am ready to embrace something new. Thank you. Um, thank you. The, the second part of our experience this morning is something called a white stone ceremony. And so did everybody get a white stone as they came up? I know I had to remind a couple of you to, to pick it up. These stones were quarried in Hebron in, Is uh, in Israel, a Palestinian city in the southwest bank of Israel. And Hebron is significant because it is the site of the tomb of Abraham, who is the great prophet who is um, prominent in both the Mus uh, all three of the uh, religions that are habitated in Israel. It's the, um, the Christianity and uh, the Jews and the Muslims. And so long ago in that area, there was a practice that when prisoners were released from jail, they were given a white stone. And it was proof that they had done their time, that they had served their time in prison, and that they were re truly ready to be released and able to walk about in freedom. And the white stone represented the clean slate, if you will, that they had available to them. And so this ritual comes to us based on a reference from the Bible in Revelations 2.17, which says, let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying. To everyone who hears, I will give hidden mana and I will give a white stone, and on the white stone is written a new name, a name that no one knows except the one who receives it. So as you hold your white stone in your hand, know that you are starting with a clean slate. We have let go of whatever it is that you're ready to leave behind, ready to have transformed. And in this ritual, we'll be choosing a word or a new name for ourselves. And in biblical times, a name was a very meaningful and sacred thing. And there were many name changes. Abram, as he grew in spiritual awareness, became Abraham. Saul became Paul. The change in name always signifies a change in the consciousness 
of the individual. And perhaps what comes forth is a quality of God that you take on as a name. Of course, the concept of naming is fundamental to how do we communicate with each other and live in this society and culture together. We use names to identify individuals, objects, places, abstract concepts, and the significance and cultural practices of naming things spans many religions. You see it in Hinduism and Buddhism. You see people who move into a spiritual path and take on a new name. For us, we will be going again into a guided meditation to see what spirit brings up for us. So I invite you to close your eyes again and lower your gaze and to notice your breath, feeling the rise and fall of your chest as you cons consciously invite the activity of spirit into your heart and open your mind for the next few minutes. Perhaps there is a new career, a new title, or a new quality of spirit that wants to be experienced by means of you. Give your ego a few minutes off. Don't try to puzzle it out. Just allow your higher wisdom self to come through. Give yourself permission to know that you are cho what you are choosing to express now is a new quality or a new name. Perhaps it's a word that you'll carry with you into 2024. So becoming still and listening deeply as you hold your white stone, know that it is a symbol of newness. It is a symbol of who you have become or who you are becoming or who you would like to become. So having let go of whatever has gone on in the past, this is the moment which you feel and know that you are free and you are ready to embrace newness. So allow a new name or word to come forward. It is the whisper of your soul. It is what you are ready to express. Allow it to come easily. Trust this now moment. And when you are ready, you may write it on the white stone that you have been given, your clean slate, ready to receive. what it is you are ready to embrace. If you've written on your stone, just place it in your hands.
have your new word, your new name. And along with it comes the power and the guidance to achieve all that you desire. I invite you to carry this white stone as a reminder that you are on the path of gaining greater insights and awareness. It symbolizes the completion of your readiness for 2024, your readiness for stepping into a new year. And so like the prisoners of old who were freed, who had released them, had been released from their imprisonment, you have been released. And it is time for you to embrace this new quality or name as you step into a higher consciousness in the next year. And so now I want to do a benediction, a prayer, if you will. So once again, if you'll close your eyes or lower your gaze, as I bless this process, the process of endings and beginnings, of completion and the start of a new cycle. We see this in nature. We experience this in our lives. And so I know for each one, great freedom, the freedom that is our birthright, the freedom that spirit wants us to experience as we walk out into this new year with this new name or quality, I know that we are blessed. We're blessed by the freedom that it gives us and we are blessed by the releasing and we were blessed by the embracing. And I know that as we move forward into this brand new baby year, we move forward more open more authentic and more ready to express spirit in divine and marvelous ways. I'm so grateful, grateful for this process, grateful for this opening, grateful for this newness that is coming forward for each one as I anchor this prayer in that power and that presence. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. We are blessed. And together we say, and so it is. Thank you very much.